the Clone Wars is not this thing that I'm making up or that first season Henry Gore and I made up on a whim on our own and said we'd like to do these kind of stories. I mean, George oversees the whole thing, you know, in a great level of detail. And I think that, you know, the way I look at it is this is his big opportunity to tell these stories. And, you know, stories were told before and, you know, we, I do what I can and we do what we can to establish those. But once you get Ahsoka in the picture, I mean, that's a pretty big uh, mm. bump in the road, so to speak. I mean, for me as a fan, at the introduction of her, when we first discussed that, um, I was kind of like, wow. <laughs> you know, mm. I remember saying to George, I said, well, you know, Anakin doesn't have a Padawan. <laughs> um, if you can imagine uh-huh. saying that to him. <laughs> After he presents you with the idea, you know. I mean, let, let's put it realistically here. I mean, you know, he says, Anakin Skywalker has a Padawan. And then Henry Gore and I kind of look at each other like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, but no, Anakin doesn't have a Padawan and he just kind of paused and looked at both of us. And then he said, Anakin has a Padawan. <laughs> oh, I wish now, I could be there. You know, I suppose I could go on arguing this point in and out and bring the textbooks in. And, but, you know, I preferred the choice to say, well, okay, why does he want to do that? And let me talk about it with him and let's see where we can go with this. Yeah, And as it turns out, I really like Ahsoka. You know, she's become one of my favorite characters, and she's been a very, you know, a struggle to, to fight for and get up on screen, and I knew she'd be a point of contention with the fans, but, um, I mean, I, I really like where she's gone, and I think people are going to like where she's going in season two, so uh, it's a lot of, a lot of fun.